being together again. We're looking forward to that. All he wants is to go outside. What are you doing? We're going for a walk. Is that a good idea? He's like, maybe I don't want to go outside. Maybe it's overrated. Yeah, well, I'm just kinda, yeah I, I made the mistake of getting even within two feet of my bed. And he and I are driving to Tallahassee to see Brendan and Katie. Shut up! Yes, I am. Good morning, everybody. Last night we had my sister, her husband, my mom, my dad, my sister's husband's brother and his wife, and my sister's husband's other brother and his wife over for dinner. We had such a nice time, and Ryan was golfing and he finished golfing and then came in and joined us for dinner. It was so nice to host people and to have um, specifically that group over to our house for a nice dinner. And it was Barb's birthday, who is my sister's husband's brother's wife. So I've known them forever. I mean, this is family I've known since um, since my sister started dating Tom. So we had a great time. So anyway, during that conversation, um, Tim, who is Tom, my sister's brother's, no, my sister's husband's brother, Tim, he is a personal trainer like an exercise physiologist or something like that. And we were just talking about exercise and about how walking is um, a lot less impact, but you know, just as beneficial as running for you. So I was telling my mom that she should probably start walking. Good morning. And since I walk every morning, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, mom. I'm gonna walk to your house and then we'll do a little walk together and then I'll walk back. So that'll take care of my five miles and it'll take care of her whatever. So she's gonna start this morning with a half a mile, I think. I'm like, oh, you can definitely do a half mile. So I called her, she's doing her stretches right now. We're getting ready. So she's gonna be uh, walking with me and I really hope, I mean, we don't do any stairs or hills or anything like that, but um, at least getting out and stretching your legs. So, I mean, she's very active, but, so I hope that works out. So, um, and if it does, then we're gonna get her some walking shoes and I'll probably get a new pair of walking shoes too, cause I need them. I've been using these forever. I mean, they. My feet don't hurt, so maybe I really don't need them yet, but anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Look at the guy, he's so sad. All he wants is to go outside. I know. I'll take you. I'll take you. Yes, I will. Let me go get your stuff. Come with me. We moved to Florida and of course brought the kitties with us. We, when we lived in Maryland, the kitties were indoor outdoor cats. So basically they could come in and go out as much as they pleased. So they loved being outside, absolutely loved it. Um, it's a little bit dangerous for them to be outside, but um, I feel like they're cats and that's, you know, they're natural creatures, like they're natural predators. So they absolutely loved being outside. They lived their whole life that way. And then we moved to Florida. And in our neighborhood, you're not allowed to be outside without a leash. And it's also dangerous for cats to be outside because there are predators like like vultures and eagles not eagles what do they call them whatever those birds are that come down and eat little animals <laughs> and um alligators and that kind of stuff so we've been keeping them inside except just the other day accidentally ryan left the garage door open and the door to the garage for like five minutes he went on a bike ride or something and next thing we know Edward got out. Not that anybody saw him get out, we just couldn't find him. So like two hours later, Alice was sitting on the ottoman looking out the lanai and all of a sudden she's perked up and I'm like, oh my gosh, Eddie must be home. So we go over and he's sitting on the other side of the door of the lanai. Like he had a little adventure and now he got a taste of adventure and now he wants to be out there so bad. He just absolutely cries by the window all the time. I feel terrible. So, um, what I did in, in Maryland a long time ago, I bought um, leashes for the cats because I thought maybe they should learn to walk on a leash because, oh, I know what happened. Something I think Eddie got a really bad scratch and I wasn't happy with that. It made me sad. So, I have cat leashes. So, I'm going to see about walking Edward on the leash now and see if that works. Now, I got a really good one, but I don't know... Where that went. All right, let me see if I can get him in this leash. All right, fuckers. I got this for you. Let's see if I can remember how it works. Ready? Hmm. I think we can. All right, hold on, hold on. Put my tail. 
take you outside. So I just have to remember how this works. It goes like this. There we go. This little piece goes right in there. There we go. There we go. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. That's a good boy. Look at just put your arm right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> put your paw through there. That's one. And then one more paw. And then we're going on a walk. We're going on. Oh, wait. Okay, hold well, on. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is a little bit confusing, so I'm not sure. Okay, hold on. This goes. Oh. This goes around your neck. No. How does that go? All right, give me a second to figure this out, you guys. All right, you guys, I got him in the harness. It wasn't easy, but now he's playing with it. All right, it is pink. I think this one was originally for Alice, um, but it's big enough to fit Edward, which is good because he's gotten a little, he has a little girth. Would you like to go for a walk outside? Would you like to go? Eddie? <laughs> okay. The only thing is I'm taking a little bit of a risk because now I'm making it like okay to be outside, which I don't know is a great idea, but... I just feel bad, but maybe he'll get used to the, um, the leash. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, buddy. Hi, are you ready? Should we go on a walk? Should we go on a walk? Come with me. Come with me. The thing about cats are you don't really walk them. They, they like drag them because they, not that I would ever drag Edward, but they just don't walk like dogs walk, you know? So it is a bit of a different. So this is the deal, Eddie. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm not letting go of this. And I'll take you outside and we'll just go for a little walk. Okay? <laughs> Looks like he's totally ready. <laughs> Looks like he really wants to go for a walk. Okay, we're ready. What are you doing? We're going for a walk. Is that a good idea? <laughs> there we go. Chill. What? <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, he got low. He got low. <laughs> He's playing with it, but he wants to be outside, so I'm going to let him know that this is how we're going to do outside if he wants to do outside. Look, it's so, it's so, it's so <laughs> fluffy that all this stuff, it's not hurting him though. Say hi to dad. There you go. You right. go drag the cat down the street. <laughs> That's what I was saying. You don't really walk a cat. But I'll take him outside and see what he thinks. He'll be able to sniff around. So this is why cats don't walk. Don't walk. Because <laughs> they do this. But he sits and he meows at the front door. And then the next thing you know, it's like, he's like, Meow. But now he's all nervous. Look at him. He doesn't know what to do. All right, we're going to give this a try, Mikey. <laughs> it's getting low. Oh, my gosh. Buddy, he doesn't know what to make with it. There you go. All right, come on. Let's go. Ready? <laughs> All right, let me put this in here. There you go. And you and I are going first of all. <laughs> I give him about 30 seconds. All right, he sat out front for a little bit. Mike opened the door, he ran back in. Hold you. All right, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna take this off and get him used to the um, harness. Maybe that's the issue. Here you go, buddy. This is his tail wagon, huh? Yes, well, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, I hope so. He's like, maybe I don't wanna go outside. Maybe it's overrated. All right, stay tuned, you guys, to find out. What happens? Uh, we haven't even introduced Alice yet. She's, she's a whole different bird. But of course, she didn't get any freedom before. She didn't escape, so I'm not sure that she knows what she's missing. Fell asleep. We were gonna do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay. Ryan and I were going to work on his driver's license, actually his learner's permit, not his driver's license yet, his learner's permit, because he came home and he's like, mom, <clears throat> I have to. 
it's time for me to get my learner's permit. So anyway, I was working, working. He came home from school, went in there, fell asleep, and now it's dark. So I have to run to the grocery store. I think when I get back, I'm going to help him do that. But we'll tell you that whole story about his learner's permit and driver's license if you haven't heard it yet. But I'm going to head to the grocery store because tomorrow morning, um, or tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to pick Ryan up from school. And he and I are driving to Tallahassee to see Brendan and Katie. And we have friends coming in from Maryland. And we have friends coming in from Jacksonville. And we're all meeting for the a big tailgate weekend um, to see... FSU play Georgia Tech. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, but we are hosting a tailgate, so I need to make food. So I'm going to go to the grocery store. Um, the game is a noon game. It's at 12. So tailgating has to start early, like let's say 8.39, something like that. So we're going to do like breakfasty foods, brunchy foods. So I'm going to go to the grocery store. My mom gave me a recipe for a, an egg casserole. And so I'm going to get ingredients for that. And I'm going to get ingredients for hopefully a French toast casserole as well. And some sausage and and um, some, we're gonna order bagels and cream cheese, and then we have fruit coming, we have uh, Chick-fil-A coming, so I just have to go get that kind of stuff and start to make it now, because tomorrow is gonna be a very busy day, and I just have a little bit of time before then. I have Bible study in the morning, so that's gonna take a lot of time, and then after that, um, make sure you have everything packed, and then we'll go pick up Ryan and skedaddle. Now, Mike is not coming with us tomorrow. Tomorrow, Mike is headed to Miami for some work and then he'll come back here tomorrow night and then he's gonna leave early, early, early in the morning on Saturday to drive up for the game. So we'll all be up there together. So I'm so excited, I can't stand it. There's just a lot of prep that needs to happen and I'm gonna start doing that right now. All right, Mike, I just go back to the grocery store. You can talk. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. I explained to everybody before that tomorrow, Ryan and I are going to Tallahassee and that you're going to Miami, but you're coming up early in the morning on Saturday so we can tailgate and have an amazing brunch before the game. Big fun. It is gonna be It's gonna be fun. fantastic. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the deal. This is what I had to do. I had to go through and decide what food I was going to make. And the kind of, like it's, I can't really get there and make the food there. I'm driving up, spending the night at my cousin's. I can heat things, but I, I don't wanna be like doing all the cooking there. Right. So I'm making some um, casseroles and I'm making some um, things, which I'll tell you about in just a minute, that I'm going to pre-make and then freeze and then I can reheat there. So would, would you like to know what I'm making? I'd love to. Okay, so I'm, and I'm making, hungry too. I know, I know. Well, you're not gonna eat it right now. I'm making two breakfast casseroles. So two, like it's my mom's recipe has eggs and bread and bacon and mushrooms, great big, I'm making two of those. Mm -hmm. I'm making one French toast casserole that I've never made before. I'm pretty excited about that. Wait a minute, a French toast casserole? Yes. Yes. Really? I know, sounds good. Okay. You better hurry and get there. And I'm making um, pumpkin bread, lots of it. And I have my good pans. I'm making these tiny little muffins. I'm making the bread in this. And I'm making a pumpkin bread in this, which is one of my favorite dishes ever. Then, get this. What? This is the last thing. Where are you going? Where are you about to go? I was just going to say, I want to go eat. <laughs> the last thing I'm making, which I've again never made before, but I thought, okay, we're in the South. Right. It's a very cool thing. Super simple to make. I can plug it in my crock pot, which actually is my, my um, Instapot, mm -hmm. and plug it in because I'm going to bring that charger thing that Don gave us. All right. Give you. Yes. I took ownership of it. <laughs> and, okay, so I'm making... Biscuits and gravy. Shut up! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Look, I bought biscuits. Is that legal? I'm not making homemade biscuits, but I'm making um, the you know refrigerator biscuits, but I'm making real actual gravy. So these are the things that I, this is all my stuff. I'm getting ready to do everything, you guys. So this is my Instapot that it's gonna, I'm gonna take with me to heat up the biscuits and gravy. This is all of the cinnamon, the vanilla, the, the biscuits, the um, syrup, the salt and pepper, or I mean, it was flour salt and pepper. sugar, <laughs> sulfur, for um, for the bread. And then look at three dozen eggs for the egg casseroles. Wow. A, a pound of bacon. Wow. Two pounds of maple sausage. That's for the sausage and biscuits. I know. And four cups of cheese for the eggs. This goes, Michael. Look at this. This goes. Okay. The um, the French toast casserole called for a. Um, pumpkin, like, I'm sorry, a uh, flavored coffee creamer. So I got pumpkin spice. So this, so the French taste, ca French toast casserole is going to taste like pumpkin spice. Delightful. How exciting is that? I'm very excited. So that's pretty good. And I got these because I'm going to bake them in these pans and then these can be disposable because I, bringing all those dishes, first of all, I don't have enough to make all these casseroles, but bringing all these dishes will be hard. 
So here I go. I'm gonna start cooking right now. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take. It's very folly. It is very folly. I'm excited to do it. I mean, it's nine at night, but I don't care. I'll be up. Why not? I know. I love cooking and I love like, sort of like my things are done for the day. So now I can just cook, cook, cook. I'll share the recipes if they're good. I know my mom's is good because I've had it before and she's made it. If the French toast casserole recipe is good and the biscuits and gravy recipe is good, I will share. I'm bringing a few things for Brendan and Katie. I just stopped over at mom's because she has some things she wants us to bring up to Brendan and Katie. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything? A couple of great things to look forward to. Family being together again. We're looking forward to that. So we have all five of us hanging out together. Which and then love. some. You're going to meet all of our friends. Like they have, oh my gosh, I'm a little bit nervous about the tailgate that there's going to be a lot of people there. Be fun. So again, I told you our friends are flying in from Annapolis, like one of Brendan's best friends and one of our best friends with couples. Yes. And Celebrity Brady Coogan. Coming. Brady Coogan. You, oh, that's right. I should just tell you, you guys know Brady from the watermelon video. Yeah. He's been around forever. So he'll be there and his parents will be there. And then friends of ours, um, really friends of theirs that I met through doing a running race in Disney World. Terry and her husband are going to be at We're getting the so band back together. We are getting the band back together. So, so join us. We're pretty excited. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and make this. I might show a little bit of it, um, but in the meantime, stay tuned. Oh. Ryan came home from school. We want to tell us about your schedule, what you've been doing. Oh, last two days I've been waking up at 4 a.m. Go to go to the gym with Trevor. Mm -hmm. I was planning on doing it tomorrow, but nothing that's going to end up working out. Yeah. Just I need my sleep back on schedule. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's actually really nice when you get up that early because, you know, there's no stress. You can just go to the gym, you shower at the gym, you go to school. Um, you're not stressed about being late, but then once you get home, you're really tired. Yeah, understood. So you yeah. came home and pretty much lost it. Yeah, well, I just kind of, yeah, I, I made the mistake of getting even within two feet of my bed. Right. And then I started getting horizontal and it was... Really and that bad. was the end of it. All right, you guys might hear some boys whispering over there. That's Don and Mike over there sharing a bottle of wine and chit-chatting. Hello, boys. Hola. Both going to Miami tomorrow together. And look at this. This is the first casserole of the tailgate. I thought that would get a reaction. That was great. That was great. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm pretty excited. This is mom's recipe. Those are mushrooms, cheese, chicken. Or not chicken. Mushrooms, cheese, eggs, milk, bread. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to make a second one exactly like this, except for I'm going to add bacon to it. You packed your stuff. Did you happen to look? I didn't even look at the weather yet. Is it going to be warm, cold? Do you have no, any idea? I don't know. I have um, pants and shorts in there, so. And a sweatshirt? Do you have an FSU sweatshirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. You good to go? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. I am too. Um, yeah, I think I might. New. I think we should stop by the bookstore. Oh, do you need another? You need something new? Well, my shirt is getting um, a little small, to be honest. Oh. And then um, I have two hats, actually, yeah. which is nice. But, You're wearing one right this second yeah. in bed. And then there's, um, <laughs> I have like an FSU sweatshirt kind of thing, but I kind of want a crew neck. Ah, I see. You know what I'm saying? I do see what you're saying. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you still have your white, like, uh, windbreaker? Oh, yeah. That would be very cool to wear. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? I can put it in your bag for you. I couldn't tell you. I think it's in my golf bag right now. Okay. Because it's like a rain thing. All right, I'll try to remember to go in there and get it. Okay. Cool. All right, so I finished um, most of my baking. I just have um, the pumpkin bread to do, and I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Nice. So what made you it happy, David? So Does it smell good. good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I made... Okay, so I told you what I was going to make, but this is what I finished. I finished two egg casseroles, one with bacon, one without. I finished a French toast casserole. And when I say finished, like they're in the refrigerator, they'll be baked when we get there. And I finished, oh my gosh, biscuits and gravy, which I've never made before, and I t just tasted it. 
Is it fire? Yes. I'm not even a biscuits and gravy fan, but it is ridiculously good. Good stuff. Yes. So I'll make the pumpkin bread tomorrow. Nice. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what made you happy today? I'm going to kneel next to your bed. Uh, going to the gym this morning with Trevor. Okay. Yeah, What'd you work fun. on? Um, it was push day. So like chest and tries. <sighs> Ugh. How do they exactly. feel right now? My arms? Yeah. Good. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Yeah, it's, uh, and, and sleeping. And <laughs> it's, yeah, but, um, and then, It's just yeah. really early to go to the gym. Do you have to go that early? Well, to be there, get an hour of workout in, and then shower. Ryan left here at 4.45 this morning. Or do wait, did you wake at 4.45 or left at 4.45? No, I left at 4.45. Oh my gosh, that is like insane. Did, how often does Trevor do that? Every day. Oh gosh, what time does he go to bed? Like, early. Okay, I just noticed you have Doggy. Can you just, uh, anybody who doesn't know who Doggy is, can you share? You should, honey, you should not be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Everybody has a snuggly. Everybody has one. And Ryan has had Doggy since he was born. And she's the sweetest. And you just hang on. Like, some people hang on to a pillow. Some people hang on to their Doggy. Oh, I think it's cute. Totally if you guys it. have a snuggly, comment down below. No. Let us know. I'm sure you do. Ryan. If anyone sees this, a street kid is immediately taken away. <laughs> all right, you guys. Mom, I, I want to keep my man card for as long as possible. Okay, all right. So, you guys, don't mention it. <laughs> Good night, baby doll. I'm going to go find out what made Dad happy and Mr. Hooper. Okay. Good night. I love you. Sweet night dreams. Too. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. I did it in wrong order. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. <laughs> good night. Wait. Wait, what did you say earlier? I said good night. I love you, sweet dreams. Yeah, good night. I meant to say good night, sweet dreams. I love you. I just said you too. Good night, sweet dreams. Bye. Bye. More. Most. Cool. All right, you guys. It's time to go to bed. Well, Don already has. What made you happy today, Don? <laughs> yeah. Reuniting with the Donnelly family. Oh, in that's nice. It's been too long. Mid South Florida. Fantastic. Mid South Florida. Michael, what made you happy today? Um, seeing my friend Don. All right. What made me happy today was getting all the food cooked, walking with my mom, and taking the cat for a walk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.